Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's continue playing the Quantum Leap Improved Campaign. We're trying now to... Hey, we have some prisoners. Princess of Denmark. We'll ransom her back. Let's go ahead and hold a great blot. Costs a little bit of money, but... We'll get some of it back from our... Improper culture... Improper religion people. We're going to raise up our entire levy again. Position it over in Aland. He'll say no. We go to war. We're sitting on it. We revoke it. Holy cr What the hell is this? Are you Catholic? You son of a bitch. And so you'd hire a holy order. Of course you would. Maybe we get lucky, and because he's crossing a straight... You've got to be kidding me. I mean, it's just so... Ridiculous. Oh. And that battle's worth a lot of war score, but this next battle's probably not going to go so well. Oh, he retreated in the wrong direction. We've got to try. we got to take the straight crossing ourselves and just hope that we can get there before he has any morale. He will. He'll have tons of morale. We're dead. Alright. White peace. Goddamn holy order. We do have a valid reason. The valid reason is that you are a damn Catholic. Asshole, how dare you hire those on me? Well, we still came out alright. We've succeeded with our plot, kind of. We can plot to kill our niece since we are her heir. She owns stuff up here. She's actually independent right now. No, she's not. She's underneath God of Ricky, so if she dies, it'll it'll just come to us. We should try to kill her. It'll give us more land again. We do have some money. Need to let the levy replenish again now that we are... Ugh. So weak. We're in sh such a weak position. Okay. So that's who we would end up having played as. She became an ugly, brilliant strategist. She's actually better at military stuff than we are. But our heir's coming out alright. Ambitious, strong. In response to the new heir of Crusades and Jihads, Great High Priest Straz, the Ramavas are now allowed to do Great Holy Wars. <laughs> cool. It's gonna get crazy soon. All right, my daughter needs an educator. We'll use her for opinion on you. And one of our other sons, we'll use him for military education. Military, military, military. That's all we want. Yes, kill the niece. You want me to pay for my daughter? No. Okay, so we just inherited that land back again. We'll hold on to it for now. The levy is coming back. Um, I think it's time to do our prepared invasion. We're at exactly 40 holdings. We haven't done one yet. Denmark has 3,500 men. We must have at least a thousand prestige. So yeah, we have to go raiding some more. Before it's possible. This 
Some serious Viking raiding. We're going to get a major army, and we are going to reform this faith. Damn Catholic. How dare you become Catholic. You're going to want control of that. Her heir is Catholic. Everything about it is Catholic. I don't want you. Is that the whole army? Not quite. We don't want to fight the Norse Uprising. Let's leave them alone. Although they're sieging our lands. No, they're, they're not sieging it. They're just walking through. Okay. That is fine, then. Alright, Denmark. We're going to get all the prestige we need, and then we're going to come and invade you, and we're going to reform the faith, and it will be glorious. What are you doing? If you come and try to siege my capital... God, it's just so dumb. Norse Uprising is going to come and try to siege us. Watch. You're going to try to siege this province, aren't you? Wendish Empire. Hmm. What's the Wendish Empire up to? Russian conquest of Kondalax. Is that a duchy? Really? You're trying to take that? Oh, it's got a Ricky and the Emperor. Cool. Kind of different. All right. Finally getting back into a position where we might make some money. This has been looted pretty well already, though. However, these these ones are actually being sieged down. I guess we go for the sieges. There's quite a bit of money to be made if we actually take the holdings down, as we've done before. But this is necessary. We need about 1,500 prestige before we can do the invasion. You can do it on 1,000, but you're better off with um, doing it at 1,500. Because if you have at least 500 prestige, you get more troops will spawn. So the problem is that if you have 1,000, then you end up spending all of your prestige, and then you don't get that plus troop generation that you would have if you did it with 1,500. We'll get quite a bit of prestige and gold from sacking some stuff. Should not be hard to get 500. Need a new marshal. The money that we're gathering, we could easily afford to spend on upgrades. We don't need the money, really, for anything. Now, I read in the one point or 2.1.4 patch notes that um, mercenary armies no longer count towards like spawning stuff so doesn't really matter like you don't need to do that anymore you don't need to hire mercenaries before raising troops it's kind of a gimmicky thing anyway so Prisoners, money, people for the blot.
the blot or for just ransom. My marshal's trying to do something he shouldn't. It's unfortunate. Now, I don't understand why, like, the marshal... Alright, so the guy who's going to say no, okay, I'll stop plotting. He doesn't like us anymore after telling him to, to not do the plot. But if you ask somebody who is a secondary person, like, say, one of these guys, to not do a plot, then when they say okay, then they like you by plus 50. So why is it that you don't get plus relations with him? Kind of strange, isn't it? Looks like he hired the Holy Order. Come on, burn that one down. Nice. And we'll get out of here. Just dragging Denmark in every direction. I love it. I love raiding. It's so much fun. Don't you enjoy it? I do. All right, so we've got 200 ducats on there. We're at about 1,400 prestige altogether. It's a tiny, tiny bit more raiding. We'll start our plot. Start our, our invasion. All three of these are being sacked, so we'll just sit here. They're not particularly high income provinces, but. Since they're easy to loot, we'll try for them. Looks like he's actually on his way to, to stop us, though. Using this mountain line here to defend these two weaker ones. He's probably trying to walk around to get to these. Very minor faction. More money. See, the great thing about <clears throat> doing the Norse part on this uh, Quantum Leap Improved campaign is that once we get, like, super powerful, the game's not going to feel pointless because then we're going to just export... Or, no, sorry, not, we're, gonna, we're not going to export. We're just going to jump and then... The fact that we created this strong empire is not going to matter. See, he, he did try to come around. So that's sufficient. Let's leave. Let's leave, drop, drop this money off. It might be enough. 1640, excellent. Okay, so now we start the prepared invasion. How much longer is our truce with him? Do we even have one? It might, it might have already passed. No, we do. We have a truce until... Oh, wow. 958. So we can't actually do an invasion of Denmark for a little while. We'd have to wait about three years before we could start the plot. Start the uh, invasion. And we really do need to invade Denmark. They're the ones that have our holy sites. There's one there, one there. Maybe we could do it for West Francia. He's 10,000 men, then just take... See, the problem is that he doesn't have much in uh, Frisia. All we would get from him is just these little provinces here. We could just go crazy and just be like, Norse England! <laughs> I, but I kind of I want to have like a Britannia as a formed Catholic empire. You don't see that very often in the AI games, so I'd like to do Britannia Catholic. So Britannia Catholic, Sca uh, Scandinavia Norse, Wendish Ramaba, make it like a Russian, either Russian Slavic or Russian Suomenusko, one of the two. Maybe do both, we could do kingdoms, you know. The Slavs here. God, Ricky Slavic, so he's doing okay. I mean, Gardariki's already formed. We could pretty much skip that one. And then just try to make a Permian kingdom of Suomenusko. That'd be cool. So no, invading England's out. 
we're going to have to wait and invade Denmark. But we can't expand until it's time to attack him, so... We just need him to die. So I guess in the meantime we upgrade our holdings. And then just, just do some more raiding. We'll disband. We can get some more now. Still no room for more retinue. We are not even at maximum feudal levies. Let's try to pass that real quick. Vassal opinion is getting pretty high. Got a chief over there who's not happy. Here you go, kid. Here's a couple buck a couple ducats. The chief of Dahl. Am I the duke of that? We got that duchy and this duchy. Yeah, we really don't need that duchy. That should give us even more levy. Our garrison even got bigger, which is slowing down. God, I wish our marshal score was better. Ugh, if we had 23 marshal, my god, we'd have such a big army. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. We're going to have to do some more raiding while we wait for this truce time with Denmark. We're going to get this going. So, alright. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.